Before I even start this video, if you have ever had an idea that you were super excited about, you told your friend and then randomly they pop up wanting to do the same thing after you told them that you wanted to do it. If that has ever happened to you, please let me know down in the comments and let me know how it made you feel. Today's video stole my business. So you had this wonderful idea, wonderful business venture, idea, hobby, whatever you were so excited about. You can't wait to tell your friend, you told your friend she was so happy for you, everything, root what you want. And then a little bit of time go by and now she want to do the same thing. And for some reason, you feel some type of way. You don't know how you feel, but you just feel some type of way for some reason. Let me help you. You have to first ask yourself, why do I feel some type of way? This is my friend. I should be supportive. I should be happy. But for some reason, I feel some type of way. I bet you when you really get down to the bottom of it, the root of the problem is shortage consciousness. Let me explain. Shortage consciousness means that for some reason in your mind, you think there's only a limited supply or amount of audience or customers or attention and you feel like with your friend being in the same circle she's a threat to your business because she's going to be doing the same thing she's going to take some of your customers people might like her better than they like you people might support her more than they support you feel like it's a threat so you feel some type of way like you feel attacked but i'm here to let you know that you don't have to have a shortage consciousness because that's not how life works. And a lot of people have this when it comes to money, when it comes to love and relationships, when it comes to jobs. A lot of people have this consciousness and that mindset will keep you away from where you are trying to go and where you want to go. The number one thing, you have to know that everything that's meant for you cannot pass you what's meant for you is meant for you what's meant for her is meant for her so feel secure in knowing that there's no threat it's only you and your mindset that's what's going to get in the way it's an abundant universe there's never a shortage of audience or attention or customers it's abundance and as long as you have that mindset, that's what you'll experience. Another way of looking at it to make you feel better, look at it as if you inspired your friend to do something. Like that's a wonderful feeling. I know me personally, a lot of the things that I do is to inspire others. So look at it as if you inspired your friend to do this same thing that you're doing and feel good about it, be supportive encourage her you don't want to feel some type of way be hating be mad be nasty you know what i'm saying because that's putting negativity out into the universe and if you put negative energy out that's what you're going to get back and when you're starting this new venture you're going to need all the help you can get you're going to need all the positive forces to help you out so put that out there so you can get you know get it back in return a proof that's an abundant universe go into the grocery store Look at how many different types of bread there is on the same aisle. Look how many different types of peanut butter there is. Look at how many different types of frozen pizza. They're all in there together. Like, look at the Kardashians. They're sisters. And they all sell makeup. They're not worried about what this sister is doing, what that sister is doing. They're each focused. They're in their own lane doing what they want to do. And they're successful. Some people only buy a certain type of deodorant. Some people only buy a certain type of peanut butter, certain type of mayonnaise. Some people only watch certain YouTubers because they feel like they could connect with them better. There's a variety of people in the world. And people might receive your message better from you than they would receive it from her. Think about it, I'm sure you have specific brands that you like over other brands. It's gonna be the same thing. What's meant for you is meant for you. Your audience, your customers, they're gonna be attracted to you for what you can offer. And what you can offer, 
they can't get it from nobody else because it's you and that's what makes it special. You want more successful people around you. You don't want to be the only one that's successful, that got money, that's happy. You want to go out to eat with all your friends and you want to be the one taking a bill all the time. You want to be the one, you know, you got your money and time and freedom and everything to go on trips. You want your friends to go with you. You don't want to have to pay for all of them to go all the time. So the more successful people you have around you, the better. So help build up your circle. Want your friends to do good. Support them. Because at the end of the day, they're going to be the ones, hopefully, to have your back if, you know, things don't go right and you need help. And if they want to do the same thing you want to do, that's fine. But they can never be you and you can never be them. So there's no competition for real. You got to get out of your own head, get out of your own way, and just push and do what you were meant to do. So focus on you. Continue to do what you want. Continue to have an abundant mindset. Continue to be secure and know that everything that is meant for you will not pass you. And continue to help others and inspire and empower and uplift others because that's what a big part of your journey is. And it's going to be. You're going to inspire way more many people. So you might as well get used to it and embrace it and, and welcome it. Did this help at all? Just always remain positive. I just try to always have a positive mindset on things. And that's mainly what my channel is about. I just want everybody to have a positive outlook. Because why? It feels better. It feels better to be happy for your friend. And to feel like, oh, I inspired them to do something. Like, that is a better feeling than, huh, she copying me. Like, she's just trying to be like me. And she's going to steal all my ideas and my customers and my audience. And Like, no, that is, ugh, you don't want to feel like that. Life's too short. So I always try to flip it. You know what I'm saying? I always try to have a positive outlook because then... That's the energy you radiate and you put out there. That is what you will receive in return. Let me know if this has happened to you and if this video kind of helped change your mindset on it. Hit that like, please. Hit that subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Mwah. If this video really didn't help and you still feel some type of way, then you know what? Next time, just keep your ideas and your plans to yourself. Don't let nobody know what you're doing. Move in silence and let them find out when you put it out there. They say don't tell people your dreams anyway because they can shoot them down or I guess they can steal them. <laughs> so if you're going to feel a type of way, then just keep your plans to yourself. But you know what? <laughs> the funny thing about that is Say you come up with an idea, you move in silence, you working on it, working on it, and then what if your friend comes to you and say they want to do the same thing? Now how is that going to look? The point is, you just can't feel no type of way. You got to know what's meant for you is meant for you, and there is an abundance of everything. So, yeah. <laughs>